Hi, this is Piotr Walczysz, an Adobe Evangelist. Uh, so today uh, I wanted to do a short tutorial about the AS3 C2DM library, which I released a couple of months ago. AS3 uh, C2DM is a native extension library for Adobe Air, which allows you to use the Google uh, C2DM service, which is a cloud to data uh, to device messaging uh, service. So you can actually push notifications to your apps running on mobile devices, phones, tablets, etc. All right, so in order to uh, demonstrate you how to use uh, my native extension, I encourage you to first go, uh, go ahead to GitHub and to my account, which is P-W-A-L-C-Z-Y-S-Z-Y-N. I guess it will be easier for you to copy uh, my last name from here. And there is the AS3 C2DM uh, project in. And here you can also go to downloads. So it will be the easiest way to start playing around with uh, AS3 C2DM. And download two packages from here. So first of all, this example FXP, which is a, a Flash Builder uh, project and also C2DM Messenger app, which is an Air app that will help you test actually the service. So once you have those uh, downloaded, uh, you can go ahead and first of all, install the C2DM Messenger Air app, and you will need Air Runtime for that, but I guess you already have it. And when you have it all done, you can switch to a Flash Builder. And first thing you do, just import the Flash Builder project and browse here and I guess I have it somewhere in downloads and there we go and press finish so it will import the example project so uh, first of all if you're running a flash builder 4.6 uh, you'll have to fix a couple of things because I guess I packaged that with the older version which had the 3.0 error runtime by default installed so change the namespace in the main app XML to uh, 3.1 error uh, runtime all right that's the first thing the second thing um, you have to do here is go to views go to home view and here instead of username gmail.com uh, put your email address uh, which you use to register to the C2DM service. So in my case, it will be my Piotr Valchishen, my email address at Gmail. Now you can go and register first, of course. Uh, so in order to register, you have to use uh, Google's website here. So you can see the address uh, on the uh, on the address bar here and of course there's a lot of documentation here so you should of course read that and now you can go into the sign up page of course we accept the terms and conditions now the tricky part here and that's I see the desperate really need for this tutorial because of that one thing is the uh, the issue with the package name or your app ID so whatever you put here has to match correctly with your uh, Air app ID. And by default, Air adds a prefix Air before your ID when you install your app on Android devices. So you have to prefix it with Air dot, and here goes your application ID. So let's say com, in my case, RIA space uh, C2DM. That's the name, the ID of my app. Fill in the rest of the form submit that and then you have to resubmit again the same form for a debugging mode so when you debug the application error runtime also adds or flash builder i guess in this case adds a suffix uh, called debug so the whole so that's why you have to uh, submit that form twice first uh, for your release of your app so it just needs the air prefix and for debugging it needs air prefix and debug uh, prefix but what's between those two is actual app id your app id from app xml all right so let's jump back to once you fill that in you can jump back to flash builder 
and within Flash Builder, of course, you have to, as I said, also fix in the home view, you have to fix, uh, fix the Gmail registration uh, email address, which you are actually using uh, when you're uh, signing up to the service. Okay, so once we have that, now we have to go into main app XML. And here we have to change the ID uh, of the app. So in my case, I will not be changing that, but you can put whatever you want here. That's the one place. And now once you change anything here, you have to go down in that app XML to the part where the actual C2DM service is configured and the permissions for the C2DM service to work. Uh, so uh, first of all, you can go in here and look for error com ria space c2dm and if you want to do it quickly you can just select that and do command f on, or control f in flash builder and replace that with anything of yours so with my app id whatever so once you replace all it will replace everywhere it needs for debugging and once you're releasing the app you will have to just delete the debug prefix. So leave it like that anywhere where the debug actually is in those uh, uh, packages in that app XML here. So here as I did that, over here, over here and over here and that should work. So remember you can of course give your application your own ID but you have to remember to replace the ID here again here uh, this stays the same this will leave the same now here and the last place here okay so once you replace all that you can run your application uh, on your device and when the application runs you can start a c2dm messenger application. So this is a little uh, helper uh, app which I created to test actually my uh, uh, my library. In this case I have uh, my login name, my password, these are my Gmail account uh, details here, credentials. You just put those in, you sign in, it logs you in. And now here is something that when you launch this um, demo app it will actually uh, in the deep in the uh, in this uh, trace uh, in the log trace it will spit out the registration ID uh, when it registers so when you launch this app it you will see a register button so push that it will uh, in the console it will return you the registration ID copy and paste it over here next put in collapse key you can put anything that doesn't matter in this case. You can read in the docs um, from the Google what is actually the collapse key. Uh, let's not worry about the delay while idle. And now here we have to put four uh, properties or message data. So first one, ticker text. It's the text that will display of the ticker when the, uh, when the message pops up. Uh, content title. Uh, so this is the title of the content which is shown in the notification bar. Uh, content text again. And if you want to push any parameters to your app when user actually uh, touches on the on the touch screen uh, the notification, uh, you can push any parameters to your app and then they can be received uh, as as a notification uh, from your service. All right, so I think uh, this should be helpful and easy to understand. So. Go ahead, try it yourself, and thank you. Bye.